breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Kidnapping in Enogun. In Enogun communities, on the rise as residents vacate their home. Kidnapping in Enogun communities, on the rise as residents vacate their home. To my dear listeners, from wherever you listen from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. A video shared online has captured residents of Udi community in Enugu State vacating their homes for still reasons. For safety reasons, following incessant attack from terrorists in the region, Igberi TV report. Publisher Ibuneku Ogazimura gave details of the current insecurity situation in Enugu communities. He wrote on Facebook, Help! We are all being kidnapped. The kidnapping and news of Orendro's kidnapping of the people of Enugu State have taken a dimension unheard of in the history of Igbo land. One hysterical lady made a video of a strange helicopter dropping strange men. She, she was cheated. Police went for her. Another report came soon after and nobody heeded. Today, Ozala, Unvene, Ebiel and Hudi, all of Simaxis were under siege. Somebody is kidnapped every minute. A fortnight ago, it was Ugogo, Equidbil, Opiaxis. Soon, they will move to other sections before they descend on town dwellers. At Eziago, three days ago, they were said to have gone from house to house, demanding to be shown to the homes of people who were rich and who could pay FT ransom. Recently, a group had demanded the removal of the Commissioner of Police and General Officer Commanding. Nothing has been done. But I ask, did the last Nigeria, Biafra will take with it the last of the men and women with Levi in Igbo land? Or have the remnants succumbed to the drive to suck from the brute of privileged inclusion in Nigeria? The last time I listened to the ESN, it said that its mandate was to send criminal. Sahelians from the bushes in Hebrew land. Does anybody know if they are still in the business of expel expelling the vermin imported from North African countries? If they are, they had better act now. This threat is real, and it is poised to get all. Today, an online clip in circulation gave details of the police stations where these kidnappers are quartered. True or false, I have no way of finding out. We really need help now. A video shared online was captured resident of Udi community in Enugu State vacating their homes for safety reasons. Following a censored attack from terrorists in the region, it be a TV report. Publisher Ibunekui 
Ogazimura gave details of the current insecurity situation in Nanogun communities. He wrote on Facebook, Hell, we have all been kidnapped. The kidnapping and news of Orendo's kidnapping of the people of Enogun State have taken a dimension unheard of in the history of Igbo land. One hysterical lady made a video of a strange helicopter dropping strange men. She was cheated. Police went for her. Another report came soon after. And nobody heeded. Today, Ozala Mvene Ebia Udi, all of Simax is under siege. Somebody is kidnapped every minute. A fortnight ago, it was Ugogol Ekwebe Opi Axis. Soon, they will move to other sections. Before they descend on town dwellers, at Eziago, three days ago, they were said to have gone from house to house, demanding to be shown to the homes of people who were rich and who could pay after ransom. Recently, a group had demanded the removal of the Commissioner of Police and the General Officer Commanding. Nothing has been done. But I ask, did the last Nigerian Biafra war take with it the last of the men and women with liver in Igbo land? Or have the remnants succumbed to the drive to suck from the brood of privileged inclusion in Nigeria? The last time I listened to the ESN, it said that its mandate was to send criminal Sahelians from the bushes in Hibbeland. Does anybody know if they are still in the business of expelling the vermin imported from North African countries? If they are, they had better act now. This threat is real and it is poised to get to all. Today, an online clip in circulation gave details of the police stations where these kidnappers are quartered. To my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today.